Outreach with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Natasha von Kepler, a senior center on the Castilea basketball team. Last week, uh, Natasha played in three basketball games. She had 60 points, she had 55 rebounds, she had 18 blocks, she had 11 steals, she had nine assists. Castilea won all three games. And Natasha was named the most valuable player of the Don's Club Holiday Tournament as uh, Castilea won the team uh, tournament title. And for that performance, she is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Uh, last week's tournament, 3-0 performance, sort of in the middle of the holidays, um, a time when a lot of people are on vacation. How important was playing that tournament? Uh, you'd been off prior to, and you're going to be off this week. And it really sort of came at, at a good time for, to, to be playing for your team. Right. Um, I thought it was really important for us to get out. Um, our first game was a little bit shaky. We could tell we hadn't been playing for a while, but definitely playing against teams that we could play with, but um, that you know were also really challenging. That was an important sort of step, I think, for us. The um, the last couple of years, uh, Castaway has had uh, very strong uh, uh, frontline players. Your sister was on the team two years ago. Uh, Eve Zellinger was on the team last season. So you've really had that strong group of, of two to three players every year. This year, you are the senior, you are the leader. Uh, Eve is gone, your sister has graduated as well. Um, everybody's sort of looking to you to carry the load a little bit. Does that put a little bit more pressure on uh, that you sort of have to pick up your game this season? Um, I, I would say less pressure and more just kind of expectation. Like there's more for me to do, you know, I need to be scoring during the game. I mean, Rhea Modi's also been contributing greatly to our scoring and our younger players are really stepping up as well. But as far as my role on the team, I think, like you said, being a senior is um, a big part of it because it's really, I feel like, more of a leadership role now. There's not another older player to sort of get everyone in line and get things moving. So that's definitely, I've felt the change there a lot. Last season, uh, Castilea reached the uh, CCS championship game before losing to uh, to Pinewood uh, in the Division Five uh, finals. Um, went on to NorCal's uh, for the first time, I believe. And uh, this season, um, the same teams are going to be back fighting for CCS honors: uh, Eastside Prep, Pinewood, and Castilea. What's the outlook uh, for your team the rest of the season? Um, well, you know, we have we lost Eve, like you said, big scorer. I feel like Pinewood hasn't really lost. Well, they did lose a couple of players, but they still have five solid players, um, if not more. And same with Eastside. You know, I know TK is back in her game as well. So I think it's going to be a challenge. Great games as usual. Um, but I think it'll be important for our younger players, like I said, to step up. And it's a matter of focus. Um, our, this past tournament we just played, I feel like, proved that we are more mentally tough than we sort of had thought in the beginning. We were a little worried at first, but sort of regathering, regrouping, and really getting this uh, win under our belt, I feel like it's a good teller as to how the rest of our season will go. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you very much.